Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. This is your weekly oracle card guidance and this week we're using the Enchanted Map oracle cards here. And we have three options. We have this um, tiny Shiva Lingam here as well as this ball of Shungite right here. Okay. And we have a rainbow jasper, which is a stone of transformation. So all these stones have an element of transformation in them, which is quite um, in balance with this deck. Uh, the Enchanted Map Oracle is a, is a deck of transformation. Now, I don't particularly think this is a more important time of transformation than any other time, but I was drawn to use um, this deck of cards this week as well as uh, these stones so please go ahead and make a selection and you may go ahead uh, to the description box where you'll find the timestamp and go directly to your reading so for those of you who've chosen the option number one here we're asking what is it that we need to know for this week what is our oracle guidance for the week ahead what is our oracle guidance as we go along in this week All right, and we have here, so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have the, uh, the card Ghostlands with the number 17. So what this card is telling me or what I'm feeling with regard to this card is that you may be going through um, some kind of um, unexpected turmoil, but it's not really turmoil. It's more like you might be experiencing some brief challenges or the challenges are not that ex extreme right now but there are challenges and you're wondering what are you doing in this space what are you doing right here in this space shouldn't it have gotten better by now or shouldn't I have gone through, haven't I gone through enough haven't I gone through enough and shouldn't I be in a better space in my life at this moment and it's almost as if you're walking through no man's land right now and th there's a feeling of isolation that's with that is a feeling of being alone in this path that you are that you're experiencing whatever it is that you're experiencing you may feel that there's nobody around you to hold your hand with this or there you may also feel that you are in this alone and nobody else is experiencing this you might also feel that even if others are experiencing this or even if you were tried to speak to another about this that you may not get the response that you desire or you may not get the level of understanding that you require now what i'm hearing here is that you are about to, to reach your destination so it feels to me like this space this kind of no man's land that you're walking through right now is a space that's coming to an end you're almost on the brink of where of your destination of arriving at your destination now your destination is not the resolution of this matter necessarily so some of you may have a resolution of this matter as your destination and that will come up in the next couple of weeks but for others of you it may be that what you believe to be the resolution of your matter is actually something that's starting up a new uh, challenge in your life or bringing into focus another challenge that you have that needs to be resolved so this feeling of desolation that you may be experiencing right now is something that will come to an end but it's coming to an end doesn't mean that there will be peace and joy at the end of it and it where it's not something to be worried about but it's something almost to prepare for that this desolation of the space that you're in right now is actually preparing you it's actually helping you restore yourself or giving you the space to become clear um, in yourself as to what is okay and what is not okay and what is what how you will go about resolving the struggles that are coming up ahead and so I'm using this word struggles quite broadly it might be just be a very simple challenge you know for some of you it might just be the festivities are upon us and it's difficult to cope with all the responsibilities that align itself with the festivities for others of you it simply might be that there's a new beginning that's coming in terms of the new year and it might be quite daunting to think about what you've done over this year and where you're headed to and and having to face that things haven't changed that much whereas there, there, there has been a lot of change and a lot of progress but it hasn't changed as much as you'd like it to because 
you were heading into something new, but you and you expected it to be quite different as you were heading into the space. So coming to terms with those kind of challenges, okay? So it's not necessarily that, you know, you'll be facing huge challenges like, a, you know, the breakdown of your car or something going wrong in your home environment or in terms of your job. I don't see that necessarily happening. All I see is that this space right now, which ought to be that of uh, festivity and... Um, coming together or coming together in yourself or feeling a sense of achievement of feeling a sense of having arrived is not actually there for you right now and but but the feeling here is that this is about to come to an end the feeling that you're having is coming to an end right now so for those of you who are not resonating with that message at all there is another message in here in this card and this is to say that sometimes things are perfect the way that they are they are absolutely perfect and it, this is what you've been wishing for. And even if it is not, it really it doesn't translate exactly into what you've been wishing for. It's what you actually need right now. And sometimes it's just about bringing things into focus. So just about bringing the, the picture that you have into focus and realizing that there is so much that you can do with what you have already. So for those of you who are dreaming of being in a different space or dreaming in being of being in a relationship or dreaming of being feeling something that you don't feel right now this card is also saying that if you if you bring it into focus if you bring your life into focus if you look at your life from a slightly different perspective you will realize that you have everything that you need right now at your avail to be able to translate it into the ideal world that you wish for and that what you des what what it is that you desire so if you are um, i'm just using this as an example if you have a lot of clutter and cleaning and things to organize and you're feeling like it's so overwhelming and you just can't cope with this and the you know the solution would be to help somebody to help have somebody help you or perhaps to move into a different place or perhaps to have different furniture i'm just using this as an example right so what the way in which you would resolve this or what this card is saying is in using this example you need not look for a greater place or a, a better place or a different place or a different furniture or some kind of assistance you need not feel this longing what you need to do is basically tackle the task at hand and see it for what it is because you have complete power and control over your environment and you can actually effect the change that you desire. It is within your grasp and that is something that they want you to realize. It is within your grasp and you have it already. It's simply that you need to recognize that you have it. Okay, so that is the message for those of you who've chosen this Shiva Linga here. Um, yeah, I hope this message has resonated with you and I hope that is it is of some use to you as you go along in this week ahead or in the weeks ahead. Okay, for those of you who've chosen the Shungai tier, um, the question we're asking is, as we always do in the weekly oracle, is what is it that we need to know right now? What is our state in this moment? What is it that we need to know? What is our message for this week? like this card here. There we are. I'm going to turn that around for you. We have the number 12. Slow and steady. Okay, so here I'm feeling that you might have been informed of something recently. You might have been given some information, either by a psychic or by a doctor or some kind of professional. Um, or some type of person that has, has released some kind of information to you. And how you go about absorbing this information is actually important right now. So this might not resonate for every single one of you, but it does resonate for a few of you. So I just want to say this. When you receive this information, it might not have been what you actually wanted to hear, or you might have been quite desperate in that moment, or you might have felt quite shocked, or you might have felt at unease, and you might have actually... Um, disbelieved what you are hearing or not actually had enough uh, faith or trust in what you are hearing but what i'm hearing here is that this is what you've heard is the truth and you need to actually accept it for what it is and in doing so 
you embark upon a path which is somewhat a long path of having to deal with something, having to tackle something, having to work with something, whether it is with regard to your health, or whether it's with regard to your emotional well-being, or simply an attitude that you have towards your life, or simply coming to, to terms with something in your life that you have been having difficulty coming to terms with already. Now, what they are saying is that, and this message applies to all of you who have chosen this, um, what they are saying here is that the way in which to go about this is to take it step by step, slow and steady, as the card says. So what I'm hearing, when I pick up this card, when I feel this card, the energy of this card is you have the knowledge, you've now accepted that it is the way it is. And now you're looking at how to get to where you need to go to. You see the path ahead of you as being long and you see it as needing time to achieve that or to get there and you recognize that it needs to be a step by step so the meaning of this card or what it's saying to you or what it's saying to me to tell you at least is that you are at the beginnings of your journey you're at the beginnings you're at the foundation level and much must be built upon this whether it is in terms of your health or whatever it is that you're dealing with right now and this is something that is going to take place step by step so if you are trying to have a child, if you are um, working, oh, pardon, I've just shaken the tripod. So um, if you're trying to have a child and if you are wondering when this will come about, this card here talks about you actually are able to fall pregnant and you are able to to come into that space of, of having a child, come into that fertility, but it will take time and that there is still a preparation that needs to take place within yourself. So that's just one example. And I know that not all of you are going to resonate with that. So um, the most important message here is that everything's going to take time, okay? And it's going to go step by step. And it's important for you to be in this and not to be too ahead of yourself, not to be impatient, to be in yourself and to be able to recognize and breathe in the moment, each step at a time, each step at a time, wherever you at, stay in that space with your vision and stay in that space and experience all that you need to experience in that space right now. Because it's almost as if you need to graduate from that experience to be able to get into the next one. And if you've not been diligent in terms of um, being present in your moment and understanding everything that you need to in a given phase, then you're going to be needing to revisit that. Okay, so this is not a warning or something to scare you with. It's just simply saying, be diligent in terms of being present, being aware, being conscious of what you're actually going through right now. This is, it's very much the message. Life is um, the journey, not the destination. And it's very much about that. It's about experiencing it as we go along right now and recognizing that yes there is a place that you want to get to and there is something that you want to achieve at some point whatever that may be it might be the slightest thing it might be something that you're not completely invested in whatever it is there's some part of you that's longing to go somewhere and you're on that path already you you are building the foundation you're sealing the foundations and there's still the the rest of it to be built and the for you to achieve or, or get to the place that you want to. But building this or going through these processes, going through these phases are just as important as when you arrive there. I feel that for you, the next two to three weeks are going to be really important in coming uh, to a realization or coming to some kind of a new knowledge or new understanding about yourself. And um, this is very much connected to the energies that are at play in the next few weeks. So it's going to be almost like a renewal. And I feel that this purifies you, like this new renewal, this information that you receive, it brings you into a greater state of purification or, or, or a greater sense of understanding of yourself. And um, I would I would advise you, so I, I don't usually plug <laughs> my videos, but uh, I would advise you to look uh, for the energy forecast that will come up in the next few weeks because it will talk about this kind of energy as well. And I'm feeling that you will experience some of that, okay? So um, once again, wherever you're headed to, whatever it is that you're headed, to, wherever it is that you're headed to, this is the beginning of the process. And it is a space that you will come to eventually enjoy the ride 
in the meanwhile. Okay, so I hope that message resonated with you and I hope that it's been helpful and I'm wishing you a wonderful week ahead. So for those of you who've chosen a rainbow jasper here, the question we're asking as we do on the weekly oracle card reading is what is it that we need to know at this moment? What is it that we need to know at this moment? And where is it that we're headed to? What is it that we need to be aware of? Oops, a few cards that have come up here. I'm just going to put them back because I feel that they, it's not ready. It feels like that those messages are part of what needs to be said. But there's another card here which is going to speak more concisely about your message. So I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle. Okay, I'm going to go with this one here. Okay, so the card I have here is rock bottom and it's number 10. This is so interesting. I've actually, um, I've actually, I dreamt, <laughs> I dreamt that this card would come up um, and it's here right now. Um, so <laughs> that's really amazing. I also like the way in which the card uh, kind of plays with the images or the colors of the rainbow jasper. Um, so yeah, it feels like the, the, the traditional sense of the word rock bottom, like you are at the, you know, at the rock bottom and you can only go up. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it applies here, although you might say, well, it does apply to my life, but it, for me, that's not the message. The message isn't that you're rock bottom and you can only go up here. For me, it's almost like you need to turn around and go back down. It's almost like you need to go to the rock bottom to be able to understand and go forward again and for me this message is what the, the this card is trying to tell us right now that going backward going back to basics going back to a space of understanding is what's going to help you to go ahead so it's almost like you might be in a state in your on your life where you're experiencing some kind of stagnation or things are not moving as fast as you'd like to right now and you're wondering how to go about moving things. And if you are asking this question, then the answer is definitely go back. Go back to basics. Establish what your values are. Establish what you really believe in. Establish what is important to you. And one of the ways in which you can go about doing this, instead of having it just be thoughts in your mind, is to sit down with a piece of paper and write down what is important to me. What is the most important thing to me? And, you know, you're going to be talking about your values, your principles. What is it that you will not um, budge from? what you will not accept in your life and what you wish for and where you had wished to, to be, in, whether it's in terms of your love life or in terms of any other aspect of your life, whether it's in terms of your work. So, you know, the thing is that if you are, let's just use this as an, as an example, if you are actually having difficulty in your work environment and you feel like it doesn't get worse than this, then what they are saying is that, you know what, it actually can get worse than this, but let's not focus on that. Let's go back and look at what is important to you. Is it that you really are where you want to be? Are, are you receiving the, um, the respect and the um, acknowledgement that you need to be receiving in the space that you're in right now? Are you having that? And are you willing to accept that you cannot have that if you're not receiving it? Are you willing to go along with that? Because what I'm hearing here, and this applies to all of you, is that all of you have chosen this, this stone, that is, um, that you are needing to reevaluate what it is that you're willing to accept and not willing to accept. Because for some of you, the frustration that you might be experiencing and the bitterness that might be forming in you has to do with the fact that you've been tolerating something that you really don't want to tolerate anymore and this doesn't mean that you need to cut away people or cut away from the environment that's causing this for you it simply means that you need to tell yourself you need to make it a, a kind of assertion with yourself yes that is what I am and that is and this is I'm not going to accept this any longer and you it's almost like you need to define yourself to yourself and say well this is who I am this is what I'm willing to accept and this is you know, this is the values that I stand by. So I'm just, just keep hearing this word values and, 
and principles, the, these words. And it's saying, go back to basics, figure out who you are, what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept. Because along the way, you'll find that you've been compromising a lot on that. And this is what's causing your the disharmony that you might be experiencing in you or let's just say it might not be disharmony but it could be a lot more harmonious a lot more peaceful a lot more joyful and even blissful if you were to um, be in an environment that completely supports you and completely um, gives you the the, the love um, and that you need or, or the celebration that, uh, of the person that you are so um, I'm hearing here that things also don't need to get worse before they get better. It's simply that you need to make these some rules for yourself and make some um, decisions as far as what you are happy about, what you're not happy about, what you're willing to accept and not willing to accept. So that is one part of this question. The other part of it is that in terms of... Um, in terms of... Uh, accepting this or being in this environment it is actually you've actually created environment outside of you or rather let me say it's not that you created it necessarily but the environment outside of you is a, a reflection of the environment inside of you and this is something that is, is, is something to be noted because when you recognize that, then when you make some small changes inside of yourself in terms of the way you view yourself and the way in which you understand your, yourself, then the world around you is going to change as well. So uh, if you view yourself as being intelligent and competent, then you, the world around you will view you a, 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 in the same way and you will exude that. And others will pick up on those energy vibrations and they will believe that about you. They believe about you what you believe about yourself to a large extent. And you might be saying, no, that's not true. I don't believe that about myself. And the situation that I'm in is unjust. And how could you say this to me? Uh, but that is, if you go back, the resolution to this, right, is if you go back and go into yourself and start appreciating something about yourself, or start recognizing something about yourself, start acknowledging something about yourself, you're going to find that over the next weeks, people around you are going to start acknowledging those things about you as well. And just try that. If you are uh, needing this, um, you know, this kind of exercise or the service, try try that out and see the impact around you. And if you do, then come back and comment. I want to hear about it. The, the, so that's the one thing. Um, the other thing is that, so that's like your second message, but I feel like it really applies to everyone. The third message here that I'm getting as far as this card is concerned is that you might be wanting to change direction at this point. It might be that you need to start anew. And that feeling of having to start anew makes you feel like you're at the rock bottom. It's like you've got to start over. Maybe you've got to move. Maybe you've got to start over in terms of, you know, setting up an apartment or a house and all of this is daunting. Um, perhaps it is that you've got to start a new job or you need to move from your neighborhood. Whatever it is, I'm getting these type of messages a lot, so I do believe that some of you are going through these kind of transformations at this moment. But um, whatever it is that you are going through right now, it might feel as if it's it's going to the rock bottom, you know, but it's actually an important part of you starting anew. So it's... What they're saying is that it's okay to start anew. It's okay to start anew, no matter how daunting it's going to be, even if it means going backward, to go forward, even if it means taking a step down or being demoted in order to be able to go forward, it's okay to do that. So if some of you are experiencing that and you want, you've come to this reading to, to find out if, you know, it's okay to go backward, to go forward, the answer is yes, an absolute yes. It is really okay to take a step back. And don't see it as a step back because what you're actually doing is you're just needing to go back and replant whatever it is that you need to do so that you can grow in a more wholesome manner. And what I'm hearing here for some of you is that you might have taken a decision a couple of years ago that's led you um, in a, on a path that you're on right now, but it's not really where you need to be. And you feel this every now and again, you are reminded that this is not really where you want to be. And so going back uh, or taking, going back on what you're doing right now, or not instead of going ahead, maybe frowned upon by your peers, or maybe seen as being failure in, 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 
in the society or your community. But this is actually not what it is. Going back to the roots, getting back to the roots and actually figuring out where it is that you need to go from there is actually the step a step going forward. It's success. It's going, you are moving ahead. You are, this, this movement, this progression is in fact asked for. It's, it's um, desired. It's um, suggested. It's recommended by the spirit. So if you need to take a step back, if you need to return home, perhaps return to your home country or uh, return to an old job or return to an old position in your job or, um, you know, go back to living in another, in an old neighborhood, whatever it is that it is that you are asking for, it's okay to do that. And it's not, a, it's not going to be a step back. It's actually going to be a step in the right direction because ultimately you're going to be able to build from there where it is that you need to go to. And so you don't need to be stuck in this right now where you're thinking, okay, well, I've made it this far and, you know, I shouldn't be going back. I should actually be going forward. So, um, you know, why am I not feeling that? Why am I not feeling like moving my, myself ahead? What I really should be doing is bringing myself forward. And, and won't I be doing something against my well-being if I go backward? And the answer is no, you'll be doing fine. And this is the path that you need to take right now. So, uh, yeah, just to round up, it's almost like you need to go backward to go forward. You need to go inward to go to be able to establish how you will go outward in the future. And um, it's OK to take um, to make some changes in your life right now. It's OK to do that. It's it's OK to go ahead um, in the way. And it's almost like there's one last message here. It's almost like where you at right now. It's like you can't really go forward from here, like even if you wanted to. You can't really go forward from here, so you need to like take a turn backward and go and 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 um, before you can go ahead. And just that last message there it just resonates with those of you who feel that, like you feel like yeah, I can't go any forward any more forward here. I can't get any further. You might be feeling like you're stagnated, or you're just not able to move ahead as you'd like to, or you just don't have the resources to move ahead as you like to. And you know what they're saying is, if you are at that wall. That you just cannot climb um, because of the sheer greatness or, or how steep it is. Turn around, go back and look at what it is that you can move, what it is that you can change, how is it that you can stay in transformation and movement. Don't come into a place where you are just standing at the bottom of this huge mountain that you cannot climb or this huge wall that you can't get through and you know, you, you kind of stuck. Okay. So yeah, there was a bit of a long message and I hope that does resonate and I hope it has been useful for you. And yeah, I do hope that you are able to make this kind of progress. So let me know whether this card resonates with you and how you are, um, yeah, how you are going ahead. So I thank you all for coming to this reading. And if you are wondering what these uh, scars are here, uh, I've been uh, doing a couple of videos recently. I have burnt myself. So uh, yeah, and uh, it is in the process of healing, as you can see. Also, I'd like to come on and do a few more uh, readings and New Year uh, kind of um, uh, readings or uh, just readings or that help you prepare for the New Year. Let's put it that way. And uh, I just haven't been able to because I've had poor health in the last weeks. And so I've just been off my schedule and I haven't been working. And for those of you uh, who have booked with me and I've refunded you, I'm now actually uh, starting to work again and uh, doing readings again. So you may go ahead and book again if you'd like to uh, have that reading. And uh, for those of you who are um, expecting waiting for me to get back to you in terms of uh, booking readings. I will be doing that this week and hopefully I'll be able to incorporate all of you within the next 10 days or so. And I thank you for your patience and I'm just sorry that I haven't been able to be there more. Okay, but anyway, I hope that you're all well and that you're doing great. And I want to say once again, a huge thank you to the subscribers and to all the comments. Um, I really appreciate it. It really warms my heart when I receive uh, a, a nice comment from you and it makes it all worthwhile. So thanks a lot again and um, blessings abound from Kissam Rising.